Could this be the killer's handprint? The ghostly image appeared when this window was dusted for prints. There's no doubt that it's, a, it's an important item of evidence. There has to be a point of entry and a point of exit in a crime like this. If there is a handprint, it may be very significant. I can show you and we're learning that 21-year-old yeah, Kaylee Gonsalves may have been the killer's prime target. Published reports say that Kaylee was subjected to a more brutal attack than the other three victims. She was killed on the same bed along with her best friend, Madison Mogan. News Nation reporter Brian Enton is in Idaho covering the investigation. There's a number of different theories possible. Since her wounds were more significant than Maddie's, is it possible she was the target? Yes. Or is it possible that, that she woke up and, and was trying to fight back and that, that Maddie was the target? As the investigation enters its fourth week, Kaylee's father is expressing disappointment with the local police. Do you feel confident in the police investigation and the people investigating right now? I, I do not feel confident, and that's why I push the envelope and say a little bit more. I hate to be that guy, but, um, you know, there's a job to do for everybody has a job and a role to play in this. Includes, this is my role as the parent. He says he's raising money to hire a private detective. The two surviving roommates who slept through the attack are breaking their silence. Poignant letters from Dylan Mortensen and Bethany Funk were read aloud by a pastor at a memorial so service ways, in an I'm Idaho so church. Happy. Dylan wrote, I know it will be hard to not have the four of them in our lives, but I know Zanna, Ethan, Maddie, and Kaylee would want us to live life and be happy.